How does the Victory Super Kraken VX100 compare against the EVH 5153 50 watt EL34 tube amp? Stick around, let's find out. Hey, this is Eric. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today, we're gonna listen to the differences between the Victory and the EVH tube amp heads. Now how this video is gonna to work today is we're gonna to listen to these back to back in a full mix, and then we'll come back and we'll listen to the guitars by themselves. That being said, let's listen to the full mix now. back from that. Do me a favor, will ya? Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Let me know which amp head you like the sound of the best, the Victory or the EVH. Let's listen to those guitars, but before we do, let's talk signal chain. So the signal chain is going to be this. It's going to be the guitar into an Ibanez TS9 Tube Screamer, into a Boss NS2 Noise Suppressor, into the EVH amp head. From the EVH into the Two Notes Captor X, where we're going to use a Victory Super Kraken 4x12 cab. Now, for the Victory, we're going to have the guitar running straight into the Victory amp, and from the Victory amp into the Two Notes Captor X, and we're going to use that same 4x12 Super Kraken cabinet. Here. Hey, so let's listen to those guitars by themselves, and we'll come back and talk about it. Let's do that now. The Victory sounds a little smoother, right? And, and a lot of guys will probably like that, where the EVH sounds a little more ragged. So with the EVH amp head, I tend to really like this amp head with a boost. The boost really gives it that extra push that I'm looking for in the tone and the feel as a player. And what I have to say about the Victory is, I really prefer it without a boost, which is why in this video we had to boost on the EVH and we didn't have a boost on the Victory. The Victory just somehow magically feels and sounds like you're using a boost when there's not one. It's just in the amp. And the EVH on the other hand, when you're not using a boost, again, especially on the blue channel, it's just not set up for certain heavy styles. I don't really think that the blue channel without a boost is capable of providing the sounds in this video. Definitely requires a boost. So hey, that's all I got for you in this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.